morning. Oh my goodness, it is so wonderful to see you all. And it's so wonderful to see a crowd of this size that is friendly, that is, that is fabulous. We appreciate all you're doing and we appreciate you being here today and showing support for what we're doing this year. You know, House Republicans have always been a pro-life caucus, but after the elections in November, I believe we have never had a stronger pro-life caucus than we have right now. We've done many things in the past that protect the lives of the unborn, but they were stopped in the Senate. Well, things have changed. And I think we have a real opportunity this year with a new Senate to do even more. We have some great members who, have to, who truly stand for life, but I really want to highlight uh, one young lady here today. Shannon Lundgren, and Shannon's back here, and I'm sure you've had a chance to meet her. Shannon won a race in a tough district in Dubuque County. Many times freshmen come, and they kind of keep their heads down a little, they do their work, and they learn a lot. But let me tell you, Shannon came here ready to work. She stepped up and asked to manage the bill for late-term abortion this year when it came over from the Senate, and she has done a tremendous job. Last night, last night, Shannon got the bill out of committee, the 20-week bill out of committee, and got it to the House floor, so Shannon, thank you. She has worked tirelessly to advance life. Don't be tearful or I will. <laughs> and she is not finished. I know there are some that hope for more. There are many that wanted to have a home run, even if it faced a roadblock in court. And there are many that wanted to have an incremental step that saved babies immediately. I understand both sides. But we should not forget that this is the most pro-life piece of legislation that will get to the governor's desk in this state's history. two years ago when we required a woman undergo an ultrasound prior to an abortion. That was the most pro-life thing we'd actually passed into law in nearly two decades. We know that, what, that it would make a real difference and save babies. Women saw a baby. They did not see an abstract group of cells. I know all of us here today are passionate about this issue. And that's why we need you to be in touch with everyone in this building and let them know to keep fighting. Show them love and let them know that you support and appreciate the efforts to protect life this session. Share with them the love that exists all across the state for the lives of the unborn and encourage them to continue the fight. Know that we're not done. We're not going to settle for this and call our work finished. We're going to continue to look for opportunities to protect life and to defend the unborn. You know, when I first got elected, protecting life was one of the topics that I was passionate about. And I was came here uh, ready to go to work, but unlike Janet, I probably kept my head down a little bit the first year. I, I, uh, I don't recall, it's been a while. But as you might imagine, as a pro-life woman, those on the left just don't understand how a woman can support these bills. They ask, how can you be a woman and support these kind of, this kind of legislation? Well, I ask, how can you be a woman and not support life? babies before anyone else saw their beautiful faces. We carry those babies as they grow and we know there's life inside us. We know that's a life. We know she's a baby. So in closing today, I want to thank you again for everyone being here. I want to thank you for all the work you do across the state 
to advance pro-life causes. I want to thank Senator Dix, who has an equally pro-life caucus and is a wonderful partner in le passing legislation. And finally, I want to thank both Governor Branstead and Lieutenant Governor Reynolds for their efforts over the last few years. But most importantly, because they're going to be signing some legislation that is long overdue very soon. So thank you.